sports ready. Powers on high. Just like those big boys, she's itching to fly. Yeah, she's looking for trouble. SSP Muscle Machines. They're big, bad, dirty, and mean. Those dual stick shifters make her really move. Go big on, bad go. warlords got go, nothing go. to prove. It's bad. SSP Muscle Machines. They're big, bad, dirty, and mean. SSP Muscle Machines Warlord. Other muscle machines sold separately. Batteries not included from play school. Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with my final kit build for 2023, the Warlord Firebird, based off of MPC's Nitro Bird. Yeah, this is a build that I've been looking forward to for a while now. Uh, I was super into monster trucks when I was a kid. I was the exact right age when the Muscle Machine series came out, uh, had Bigfoot and the Car Crush set, uh, even watched the cartoon as terrible as that was. And so making 24th, 25th scale models of the four major players in the series was always something I'd want to do. And uh, so now it's Warlord's turn. I'm going to be using this kit because it's got the right third generation Firebird body, but I know that MPC has released it at least a couple of different times with different bodies and uh, some other minor detail differences. And taking a look at the box here, up here we've got a flip top Firebird funny car. It was the golden age of alliteration. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Nice looking box art. A bunch of product photos, as was MPC style. Another golden opportunity kit there. Coming on the side here, we've got the full size photo of the finished kit. There's also another neat touch. You can see this was a fun dimension kit. A view of it for the side panel. And taking a look inside. First thing we've got is the decal sheet, and considering the age, it's actually held up surprisingly well. We've got our instruction sheet here, and it's the usual exploded diagram MPC. Again, they have used these instructions with a few alterations for several other repops of this kit, so if you've gotten any of their funny card kits from this era, you probably know what they look like. We've got some wheels. Roll cage, gas tank. We've got a open parachute. You can actually thread up to the back of the car if you want to. You got the Exhaust headers, transmission, front engine cover, pair of wheels, and the engine heads. Actually got some valve detail in there. Nice touch. And we've got the spoiler, the support brace if you want to pose the car open, as well as some frame components. It's actually got some riveted detail on it, not too bad. We've got the top of the interior tub here. Again, nice riveted detail on it. And you got the hinge pins back here so you can open the body. You got the seat molded as the main part of the tub. And it's got some seat belt and padding details on it. And we've got the main frame rail here, which doesn't look terrible at a glance, but you're going to have to do a lot of cleanup between those bars. That's not going to be a fun project. We've got the engine block, which was already glued together on this one. And see, it's actually got some piston detail. It's a nice touch if you want to have the engine partially disassembled as part of a diorama. got a one-piece body. It actually looks pretty clean considering how long it's been rattling around in that box. You don't see any warping on it. A little bit of scuffing here on the side. It's got some nice detail down at the rocker. It generally looks pretty good. Inside's got some fiberglass texturing to it. It's kind of a nice touch there. 
There you go. That, that looks pretty good. And we've got a few bits here that have fallen off the parts tree over the years. The intake manifold, belt drive, and rear spoiler extension. And so we've got the front axle. And we've got two big slicks. I won't be using these because Warlord had some mud puller tires on it. Got our skinny little front tires. I think these ones are appropriate for Warlord, so I will be able to use them right out the box. Got our windshield here, which unfortunately had at least one of the tires sitting right on it. So there's a couple of nasty grooves etched right into the plastic. Pretty deep. I don't know if we'll be able to sand those out or not. And the last thing is we've got our chrome parts tree, although in this case it's really more of a matte silver. Still, detailing doesn't look too bad on it. Not really horrendous flash. Got a three-part blower hat there. So that's going to be interesting. Got a bunch of steering linkage. But overall, not too bad. Looks like the windshield is really going to be the only problem. Everything else here seems like typical 1980s MPC fare. So I uh, expect maybe a little bit of fiddle factor, but nothing too horrendous. Certainly not a lot of parts to deal with, so it should be a fairly quick one to go together as long as everything lines up the way that I hope it does. And as far as converting it to Warlord, I'm not really looking to get all of the details exactly right to the full-size puller or the toy. I uh, just want something that kind of captures the look and feel of it. And so for that, I am going to have to make some custom decals. and. Um, thinking about using these here for the rear tires. Uh, they're copies of the Dixie Pick tires that came in the Orange Blossom Special. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that. They might not be large enough, so I'm going to leave those off until the end when I've got the body on it and I can do kind of a test fit to see how they look. But uh, yeah, so there is the MPC Nitro Bird and the beginnings of my final project this year. So I will have the first bold update next weekend. You can check back then, and thanks for watching.